What's going on guys, Black Scout Survival, and today I got my good friend Chance Sanders. We just did a video on escaping evasion, uh, camouflage cover and concealment, and we thought it would be a good time to also do a video on camouflaging the face and uh, also other means of camouflaging the face because the body is pretty simple because you can put clothing on, you know, but the face is something different. Now one thing we had uh, talked about is uh, improvising, and one thing with that is using mud, like brown mud or uh, charcoal from your fire. Um, that's one way to do it. Another way is uh, using garments to improvise. And I did a video a long time ago on the sniper veil. And this is just a basic sniper veil. can be used as a scarf. Um, I love this thing. I use it all the time for a lot of different things. But it's a good to drape over your face. And it breaks up the, uh, you know, the face there. And it also breaks up the shape of the head and the neck. Chance also has a couple ideas here. This is uh, essentially the same thing that he has with the sniper veil base. Uh, this is a more uh, stretchy synthetic material. And what I did is just tied through uh, a multicolored and old mosquito net that I had. And it does basically the same thing. However, it does give you uh, a little bit more of a outline breakup. And yep. of course you can still see through the mesh there. Um, so, I mean, it's very lightweight. There's nothing to it. You can compact this down, and but it covers your face and does well with that. Another thing, something like a, a shemog that you can tie up in the traditional uh, manner. I, what I like to do with shemogs, uh, just if I'm trying to kind of hide my appearance, is just do it in a simple Hood. drape or a tuck-in uh, hoodie type of a deal. But that definitely will at least decrease the amount of yeah it know, breaks up the head shape that, that thing as well if you if you're a mind of doing that but yeah it breaks up the head shape because that you know the round head is definitely you know not something you see in a environment okay guys a uh, little bit on improvised camo as far as some things that you can do if you've got 550 cord or some uh, bank line or anything like that in your kit if you don't have a net such as this you can actually uh, there's other videos and if we don't have one up we'll put one on making netting just out of 550 cord but once you get that net um, in, in this case we have some some multicolored uh, jute yarn but just a, a roll of jute twine peel it off cut segments of it you know about that long right there and tie it into it and you can create your own kind of a ghillie shroud uh, and as big as you want to. I mean you can make an actual uh, you know cami netting for your area depending on how much cordage and time you had but this is just an example of, of creating some camouflage on the fly. Obviously it doesn't have to be burlap. You can make the net and just weave vegetation into it. But that serves as a basis for enhancing your camouflage and breaking up those patterns. So anyhow, whenever you're applying uh, face paint, uh, there's a few commercial brands. You have the compact style, which has uh, got a mirror in here and you know different colors which is a pretty good thing. And uh, the other thing is you can use the mirror for signal mirror. But this is a- uh, That's pretty heavy duty. That's Predator War Paint. It's a new product uh, Navy SEAL sent me. He uh, developed and uh, wanted me to try out. And I've been using it for a little while, hunting and stuff like that. You know, it's good stuff. It's got pretty much all the color bases. Uh, and it's like, uh, I think it's hypo- hypo- let me Allergenic. See. I'm sorry. Hypo- Allergenic. Hypoallergenic. Yeah. SPF 50 and water resistant formula. Nice. Um, the kind that I used a lot in the Marines was the uh, the Hunter Specialties tubes, the cream, because it's easy and quick to put on. Um, but then you need to use your signal mirror for that. So, but anyhow, whenever you're putting on cami paint, you want to start off with a good base. Usually, I do. Uh, some people don't, but I like to start off with a good base color. Make sure you're hitting all your, you know, behind your ears, your neck, and everything, your hands. If you don't, you don't have anything to cover up. That's why I'll wear like a, a, um, a cravat like this to break up my neck. Um, but on the high areas, you want to put darker colors. And I'm not saying put black on your forehead or anything. You know, be minimal with the black. Um, but you know, be, use the darker colors and use the lighter colors in the uh, dips of your faces you know like your eye sockets use lighter colors because you have a natural shadow yeah. there uh, your nose you want obviously a little bit darker and so what this essentially does 
is breaks up the features of your face. You know what I mean? The same way as camouflage works and it breaks up the natural uh, features of your face, your highs and lows, and flattens it out. One thing you want to avoid doing, you see it a lot in the movies where the, the character will have some type of elaborate uh, scheme painted on their face or you know, you know, know, just stripes going down. And uh, that's not particularly effective uh, for camouflage. If you are using uh, your, your charcoals and your, your man-made materials, uh, or rather your uh, natural materials that you find, uh, a dappling effect. You don't have to go full screaming camo, but just just hitting the high points, like he said, a, a dappling effect. Um, you can take it as far as uh, extremely uh, covered in mud, everything uh, covered in mud and leaves and stuff, uh, kind of like what you saw in the movie Predator, and that's very effective. The problem is, is you're covered in mud, and uh, I don't know about you, but I don't really like being covered in mud. Yeah. And uh, the people that teach that stuff normally have their students uh, in, in underwear or uh, you know skivvy shorts or whatever, <laughs> and that's not really conducive to a survival scenario anyway. You want to keep your clothes clean, you want to keep yourself clean as much as you possibly can. So, uh, you know, a product like this, uh, it, it helps to have it. It saves you a lot of time and effort with your camouflage. And we're just going to demonstrate a quick down and dirty technique, and uh, basically you're just going to you know smudge real quick and, and a lot of people think that you have to have like you know like you said like elaborate patterns and stuff that's that's not true it actually is a uh, counterproductive so yeah. anyhow guys we'll go ahead and demonstrate that for you so you know in the marines when there'd be times we wouldn't have mirrors uh we do something called the buddy mirror uh buddy method and it's uh where chance would he's my buddy and he's going to cam me up my face uh based on the criteria we explained so if I can't, you know, see myself, this is what you would do. And that's one thing to support, make sure you get your eyelids. So this is the finished product. You can see here there's no elaborate patterns, no uh, Hollywood commando looks. Just uh, breaking up my natural features with uh, darks, um, greens, you know, uh, lighter greens and stuff like that, you know, covering my ears. I got something for my neck. And then all I would have to do is throw on my boonie hat and, you know, uh, and a sniper veil, and I would uh, blend in pretty well. So, anyhow, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully, uh, you got some instruction from it and it uh, helps you out in case uh, you're trying to camouflage up your face. Anyhow, guys, make sure to subscribe to our channel because we put out a few new videos every week. And as always, thanks for watching.